Today, sharks are absolutely fantastic creatures that have tons of unique features. A popular example is the hammerhead shark. Its unique head shape expands its field of vision for better hunting and navigation, but millions of years ago, they were also just as unique. Meet Stethacanthus, a fascinating prehistoric shark-like holocephalian that lived during the late Devonian and late Carboniferous epochs roughly 385 to 298 million years ago. Nicknamed the anvil shark or ironing board shark, Stethacanthus stands out for its unique features, notably its unusual dorsal fin that looks like an anvil or an ironing board. The name Stethacanthus this means chest spine, derived from the Greek words stethos, chest, and acanthos, spine or thorn, which describes the defining characteristic of mature males within this genus. Their prominent first dorsal fin and spine resemble an anvil in shape, making them readily recognizable among their contemporaries. The first Stethacanthus species were discovered in the late 1800s based solely on isolated spines. Paleontologist John Strong Newberry initially believed these spines were a new type of fin and even thought they belonged to the pectoral fins and weren't symmetrical. However, the first associated skeletal remains weren't described for nearly a century. Due to the rarity of complete skeletons, Stethacanthus classification was unclear and based on only a few features. Despite initial identity identification of isolated spines in the late 1800s, complete Stethacanthus fossils remained rare for nearly a century, leading to unclear classification. Richard Lund defined the unique Stethacanthidae family in 1974, but their relationship to Samoriids remains debated. More recently, scientists have classified Stethacanthus as part of the Holocephaly group, which also includes modern chimeras. This classification is based on shared features like a single fin spine and tooth whorls. But some scientists think Stethacanthus might actually belong to the Smoridae order, a group of shark-like fish. The largest Stethacanthus species grew to a size of 3 meters or around 10 feet, and the smallest grew to be about 5 feet or 1.5 meters. Stethacanthus was a carnivorous animal that lived during the late Devonian to late Carboniferous epoch approximately 298.9 million years ago. Based on its diet of small fish, brachiopods, and crinoid ossicles, it is comparable to other shark-like fish of its time, such as Cladosicolae and Tinacanthus, which occupied similar predatory niches as Stethacanthus. They share streamlined bodies, powerful jaws, and similar diets of smaller fish and invertebrates. Its small size and teeth relative to other Paleozoic sharks suggest it may have been a bottom-dwelling predator. Some evidence, such as the large spine brush complex and smaller fins compared to other sharks of similar size, indicates that Stethacanthus was likely slow-moving. It possessed a unique jaw structure for its teeth. Arranged in whorls, the palato quadrate, a bone in the upper jaw, featured scalloped edges with six to seven cavities that housed individual tooth families. These teeth, spaced widely apart, belonged to the cladodont type, broadest on the side facing the tongue, each tooth bore a prominent central cusp flanked by two pairs of smaller accessory cusps. Totaling five cusps per tooth, notably the central and outermost ones, displayed a fluted texture. But Stethacanthus didn't just have teeth in its jaws, it had tiny teeth like little spikes lined its throat, head, and even the brush on its back. These head and brush teeth were simpler than the jaw teeth, longer, and only had one pointy tip. Scientists are currently unsure why they had these features, but it is assumed they were used either to scare off other predators, attract mates, or if these features were used for some other purpose. Distinguished by unique pectoral fins, Stethacanthus possessed a structure not found in its modern-day shark relatives. Alongside the typical shark-like metatorygium, these fins boasted elongated extensions known as fin whips. Composed of at least 22 axial cartilages, these fin whips surpassed the length of the pelvic fins, with a notable difference in size among the supporting cartilages. The three segments closest to the head were shorter than their counterparts towards the tail. While the exact function of these peculiar fins remains very unclear, some have proposed a potential role in mating behavior. These amazing creatures lived in the shallow seas of the Devonian and Carboniferous epochs roughly 385 to 298 million years ago. Studies of Stethacanthus fossils found in places like the Appalachian Basin in North America suggest they favor shallow seas with depths ranging from tens to hundreds of meters. These areas were likely rich in food sources like smaller fish, crustaceans, and cephalopods, making them ideal hunting grounds. The Devonian and Carboniferous were times of great ecological upheaval. Land plants were beginning their colonization, influencing the nutrient flow into the oceans, and this led to the diversification of marine life with the rise of coral reefs and other complex ecosystems. Stethacanthus likely shared its habitat with a diverse array of life, from primitive bony fish to armored placoderms such as the infamous Dunkleosteus. Unfortunately, they went extinct around 298 million years ago during the late Carboniferous period, which was a time of significant environmental upheaval. Global cooling triggered widespread ocean anoxia or oxygen depletion, impacting marine ecosystems heavily. Stethacanthus, likely a bottom-dwelling predator, would have been especially vulnerable to these changes in oxygen levels. Ocean acidification, another consequence of the event, could have further hampered Stethacanthus' ability to feed and reproduce. Combine this with increasing competition from other predators at the time led it to going extinct. But it will always be remembered as an early fascinating shark-like fish that had an anvil on its head. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, I hope you learned something. If you did enjoy it, I would appreciate it if you left a like, and as always, have a great day.